Hey everybody, welcome back to Andy's Channel International. My name is Andrew and we are on Soviet Union, Arts of Iron 4, Vanilla. With all the DLCs until Trial of All Agents, that's why you hear some Brazilian music right now. But we are playing with the Soviet Union, which is my favorite faction in Arts of Iron 4. I have a lot of fun with the Soviet Union. And what I'm trying to do right now is to get ready as much as possible. I'm playing with the um, historical focus, by the way. And I want to be as much as possible ready when the Germans will attack us, you know. I need to be careful. But until then, let's also strengthen up the mobilization plan so our army will be a little bit, str a little bit stronger. What I'm trying to do, I need to catch up with the number of rifles and in 204 days now we might be able to fill in our army and then start declaring war uh, on Romania, for example. Uh, but if I declare war on Turkey, Romania will declare war on us. So if I conquer Kastamonu, for example, I can. I have now 240 days to reach that goal. And then I will have, I will kill two birds with a stone, basically. So now I'm gonna give, uh, let me check if I do the quick improvisation. Is planning speed increased, uh, but actually, more experience is what I want to do. And now I think that finally I got what I wanted in terms of industry. And I focus on the radio. I focus on the... What can I call this? Uh, soft weapon equipment. Because we are going to declare war very soon. And at the same time, Rokosovsky is trying to do as much experience as possible with the tanks. And I mean, yeah, now with the army experience is increasing. You see, we have Timoshenko, which is giving 0 0.3 uh, daily, plus 10%, so it's a 0 0.33, and then we have a 5% increase. That's, that's not bad at all. On the side of uh, civil production, we're building another five civilian factories, and then we're moving into a uh, short but intense uh, build-up of military factories, which are going to build the uh, infantry equipment. Actually, I forgot one. I need five mil. And I'm not afraid at all about the Germans and I'm building uh, White Russia and in Ukraine. I, I don't mind at all because I think that I will defend very well against them. And now I could move into the next step. By the way, Looking at the paranoia, we are at the 30%, so we forge satisfactory reports right now. We wait for a day. And we click on the anti-Soviet uh, uh, Trotsky Center. So we are we will now trigger the second purge of Stalin, and I hope that everything will work as expected. Or I'm going to have a lot of troubles. Okay, good. Uh, by the way, I keep focusing on the Spanish voluntary now because if those guys are reaching Burgos, then we are really inflicting a severe wound to the nationalist Spain. But as you can see, it's not that simple. It's not that simple. Maybe I could extend a little bit uh, my front and give up Panzer expert to Rokosovsky finally got the level already, which is very good. Okay, good. We can then get a level on our Navy experience and we take the Navy reform, which is giving more experience. And now here we can definitely move into the next level, which could be support companies. Actually, we have almost everything there. I'm going to increase the efficiency of our artillery and I'm aiming to have at least 2600 artillery pieces so we can enter one artillery piece in every infantry piece uh, which is giving them really very very good defense they are really hopeless probably okay Perfect. 
we hit it with the 20%, so nothing nothing bad nothing too bad happened, but now we're losing Smiliga, Radek, Prebrazenski, Ryutin, and Ustielo. But my calculation was kind of okay. So our generals didn't got hit by anything, right? By the way, I want to transform Jukul in a field marshal. Uh, I'm gonna do it later when the paranoia is over. So the workers dictatorship. Bam. This is gonna give us plus political power, minimum surrender limit, uh, plus political power and less paranoia. So this time we invest in a new political advisor, which might support our industrial uh, investment, let's say. At the moment we have 59 civilian, soon 60, and only 32 uh, military. We have to increase the military as quick as possible because, wow, we are really, really, really low with tanks. That's the next one. Well. I think that I have to ask my volunteers to stop the to stop the attempt to take bullets and just you know stay there. Look at the look at the experience though, right? They're, they're veterans now, not bad. Okay, let's do it. Combat support battalion artillery. Look at this. Soft attack is increasing. Uh, really, really a lot. 94, hard attack 12 from 69 and 10, and even more defense from 204 goes to 214. More breakthrough and piercing. So let's do it. Of, of course, the organization will drop a little bit, but that's not going to be the end of the war. And we wait until our RT is in every unit. By the way, the calculation was not that bad. In 40 days, our artill artillery will be refilled. And we can then shift K, so everybody gets tra get trained again. That's pretty good. Okay, yeah. Look okay, at Rokosovsky. Oh, we are also losing fighters. Because they were green. We are sending fighters that are not trained. Shit. This is not a very good performance, right? <laughs> when can we declare war on Turkey, by the way? Um, on the 19th of July 37, okay, so still a couple of months, okay, we have almost all rifles in place, in, in, a, in two months we're gonna have all the rifles and we can start recruiting more. I hope you guys are doing well, by the way. And now we have a 24, so I'm going to inspect the Navy, unless I have something. Uh, minus 10, that's not really... Let, let me inspect the Navy. Let me do this. To avoid a disaster. Potential. Alright. Now we have also the anarchist, and so uh, what we're gonna, what's gonna happen is that, yeah, the fleet is gonna lose coordination and experience. That's totally fine, but we are going to bring to zero for paranoia. And in a couple of other days, it's gonna be even better, right? invest in infantry and artillery right now. Nothing more. And I think we should be able now to enter the last of the spirits of the army. But okay, here we need another uh, 104 days so we can continue. We need another six factories to open the five-year plan so we're going to continue mm. Question first or restore the Cossack units? Absolutely not. Question first could give us more organization, which is not bad. But the coming term could give us already some political power, which we need. So let's go in that direction. And look at our our tanks. They didn't manage yet to step back. So the nationalists keep pushing in that direction and 
I should have brought them in Madrid defending the city, but now it's too late, apparently. So, hey, we keep winning, but there is no point in winning if you cannot really act. Flexible organization. If this victory is not bringing something more important, right? Why can't I? Okay, I need 50. I need 50 air points to, to get my spirit here. Okay. I must confess I wasn't aware. I so thought it was like 30 or something like that. Okay. So, what is now painful is that I will have to inspect the Air Force probably. Because I won't be able to decrease any further. Okay, I could decrease the paranoia with the socialism in one country. But just a 10. Deal. Defensive war penal uh, penalty stability modifier plus 25%. Well, that's going to be very important later on. Okay. And, well, I could also start the collectivization process, which is going to be interesting. Okay, let's unpause and, and see. Let me check the, the aircraft. Well, we are really doing poorly here. I forgot about this. Can't I, I have to admit it. I forgot about the fact that the Republicans are quite weak. Hmm. Right. This is it is. If we're lucky and we get the Spanish supplies. Um, then, of course, I'm gonna move completely my armies in Romania or Turkey. At the moment here, I have only some infantry, but I want also much more. And I'm going to give now the promotions, of course. Let's start with Zhukov, she's the winter expert now. And our field marshal is going to be a logistical wizard and a fast and a throughput planner. Uh, winter expert. Winter expert. Here we get a, an ending defensive. And a uh, defensive doctrine. Because I need also someone that can later on use this. Uh, he's not the right guy, but you know. So they are in the right position, they're in the right position. They're gonna go here. And they are gonna move on the Turkey. So here we are some mountaineers. Obviously they also go uh, here. And if I do not have enough uh, logistic, of course, logistics, uh, then I will need to Figure it out. Maybe build some rails, railroads. Okay, the commenter work quite fine. Now we get the captain of industry and we go here to we have another 70 day to go. Can get Molotov. I honestly don't care too much. I would need to get probably hmm, plus ten percent stability. Wow! How did I? How could I miss that? How could I miss that? Bad. <laughs> Okay, we are on 50% now. Um, as soon as I have enough uh, uh, political power, I'm going to get something to keep Stalin, you know, calm. Uh, the medium tank is still early. Still, I can get the anti tank, so I will have medium tanks with the right cannon later on. Never. The administration can be an issue. 
I'm going to inspect the Air Force right now. Because administration can really create an issue on my research, and I don't want this. Uh, I, I, that should not happen. By the way, thinking about research, I need to go. Yeah, look at this. Wow, for one year, experience gain and wow, crazy stuff. I want to get the Leningrad Polytechnic Institute, that's very important, and the USSR Academy of Science. Okay, now we are back to zero. Great. So we are gonna get another focus which lasts another 35 days, then we continue on the Stalin Pure's path so we until we get rid of it. It's very important to get rid of it, guys. Really, really important. Let's check again what's going on in Spain, but I'm afraid that here we are pinned and we can't really uh, do that much. You see, I, I'm just doing our retreat, just to move my tanks in Madrid, uh, trying to avoid the disaster. Still, not sure if I will be able. Alright. So 35 days, right? Transport of flight could be good. And socialism in one country could also be good, right? Yes, absolutely. This is what we want to do. We are not, spoiler alert, we are not going to bring socialism in one country. <laughs> We're going to bring socialism everywhere. Come on. Let's take a break through here in Toledo. Look at this. Look at this. We, we did it, guys. We really did it. Can it be that now I have the chance to create some little pockets and really create a momentum for uh, Republican Spain? That, that would be that that would be really fantastic. Because I am not playing the war here, I'm just I just let my tank like Yeah, okay, go guys and, and train a little bit, you know, but that's not the way. They could do some little pockets and and win there. Well that could be then a game changer. Ah, okay, I didn't manage to do the little pocket, but still. Oh, look at this one. Spanish Gold Reserve. For 365 days, the consumer good factor is factor is gonna increase because we are saving the Spanish gold, you know? We keep it safe. <laughs> That's a good one. Of course we keep it safe. In our pockets. Right, good. But now we're talking about another kind of pockets. Go straight to Burgos. Come on, you can do it. Hopefully. Okay, how is it going with the construction? Now we're back to civilian factories. We're gonna be poor. And now it's July 37, right? So, when can I start against Turkey? 19th of July, so five days. But what we're gonna do? The fleet. It's gonna patrol the Black Sea. The airplanes. Gonna go in here and then support it. Same topic. The army. They should not train anymore. That's that looks pretty good. But as you can see. Turkey is going to. Yeah, that's good. Uh, Turkey is not gonna lose here. They are quite strong. They are they they digged up a lot. And uh, what I forgot to do, first of all, we're gonna give the trucks, and we have enough trucks. I promise you, to our army. But this is going to increase, and now we have enough. Now we have enough, uh, um, as you can see, uh, oil and, and food and everything for our troops, which is, that, that's, that's good. Mm. 
Air accident uh, chance minus 25%. Love it. I love it. So let me give my, someone that can help us with the recovery rate. Maybe that's not the best in the world, but still. And now we go on the military conspiracy. Jesus, that's going to be tough. And we declare war on Turkey at the same time. I think that the Rokosovsky will come back. Should we call our allies? We don't have any sense. <laughs> right, kill. This guy stays still. This guy's push. So you go here, you go here, you go here. They just push. And yeah, I could micro this. But I think, I think that if I'm lucky, my army will just push through. And I don't have to do anything at all in Romania. I will just maybe try to take the coastal part. No. I will I will wait until I have the planes also. First we, we try to capitulate uh, uh, Turkey and then let's see. Look, it's just it's just ridiculous. Our infantry with one RT can uh, push them and that's, that's fine. So good. Uh, land doctrines will continue later. And we give all the troops of Vasilevsky to Rokosovsky, which is in Leningrad. And what we are going to do, we move in here. And we tell him also that he needs to go to Ankara, more or less. Alright, good. It's playing with the defensive guy. <laughs> How much are we doing with the... That's wonderful. So, we definitely need more light tanks, but... Our industry is increasing. In the next episode, we will see how the, uh, the war ends. I thank you very much for staying with me today. I hope you had a good time. So if you did, please consider leaving a thumbs up and we see each other next time.